<laughs> at my house. Hey, if y'all gonna drink like that, y'all should take that to the house, man. Because these cops, they're gonna start moving on people for oh. public intoxication. Oh, we'll, we'll take a cab home by like eight or nine. All right, well, y'all be safe. We'll, we'll be cool. You too? All right. Thanks, man. Okay, y'all go hey, murph it up. Just, just question everything, man. All right. Look for the truth and God in everything. All right, man. It, it, it was all right. Sometimes it happened like that. All right. Go back to town. All right. Now go to uh. Go back to Matthew. All I said, most I ain't gonna forget for ever since. Cause it certain sins on the death, and she just totally lost it, man. Got all zealous and shit. But that's our people, man. The other guy, I don't know what the hell, he was just drunk and crazy. Keep reading. Matthew chapter 24, verse 8. And these are the beginning of sorrows. These are the beginning of sorrows. Go to 2nd Ezra. 16 because that's the spirit we're gonna keep pushing out second Ezra 16 second Ezra 15 all right because the Lord's about to destroy this place man all right but to them that want to murph we ain't gonna we ain't gonna hold you back from murphy if you don't want to hear what, what what's the scripture say yeah go murph but your ass gonna weep and mourn later on while we murph all right keep reading Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 1 Woe be unto thee Babylon and Asia Woe be unto thee Egypt and Assyria Was that's all Assyria. Talking about America Alright Because in the scriptures America fits Or they carry America carries on all the practices Of these ancient uh, Ungodly kingdoms Alright It's all wrapped in one So this is talking about America The Lord says destruction unto America Keep reading Gird up yourself with cloths of sack and hair. Be well, your children. Be sorry for your desolation is at hand. Yeah, and that's 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 the uh, the complete opposite that's going on here in America. We got people murfing it up, all right. But the Lord said, "War unto them that laugh now, for they shall mourn and weep, and war unto them that are full now, for they shall hunger. They gonna hunger for the truth. They gonna want to hear this, but." They reject it. They want to murph. So we said, go murph. It's better off you enjoy yourself while you have a chance to enjoy yourself because your ass going to be destroyed. You know? But for right now, we're going to suffer because that's the right thing to do. We're going to mourn and we're going to weep until the Lord allows us to murph. And your ass is mourning and weeping. Keep reading. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Yep. A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Blacks are sent among you, and what is he that may drive them away? Yeah, and, and the sword is talking about these missiles, all right? The judgment of the Lord. And the Lord put the spirit on his nation shoot these uh, ICBM thermonuclear missiles into not into intercontinental ballistic missiles on America to destroy it, all right? And when Obama was really inaugurated for a second term, in his speech, he spoke about all these plagues, these natural disasters, the economy, all right? Which that's all plagues sent by the Heavenly Father to uh, bring judgment on this place, man. Hold that kid, 2nd Ezra 15 and 49, and then hop back to that. Pull that. 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, and sword, and pestilence to waste the houses with desolation and destruction. That's right. Now go back to where he was. So those are the plagues. Widowhood, these nations separating their agreements with America. All right, you got nations dropping the money of America. You have nations rejecting the uh, policies and, and uh, philosophy, the way of living of America. That's widowhood, okay? Poverty, and poverty's gonna increase more in the society very soon, man, all right? Ain't no way America gonna, gonna bounce back, the economy gonna bounce back when all the jobs they're creating it's 75% low wage, uh, minimum wage jobs and only 25% uh, so-called middle class or high class uh, jobs with benefits and stuff. You can't recover like that. And more, and they already said with these cuts, which they went in, Obama signed it in, people gonna lose their jobs and teachers been losing their jobs, uh, federal workers been losing their jobs, 
All right? Certain food industries are being plagued, and people losing their jobs on that, and it's gonna be more job loss in the society. Keep reading. That's that poverty. Uh, plagues are still among you, and who is he that may drive them away? Obama can't drive it away. Your politician can't drive it away, okay? Hell, even here in Charlotte, if they don't match a bill here in Charlotte, the Panthers can leave. And that's basically the only revenue this city is really gaining, because nobody really want to go watch the Bobcats. They're garbage. They've been garbage since we've been out here preaching in Charlotte, okay? And, and since we've been in Charlotte, the Panthers been garbage too. And that's good, okay? May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood? Yep. Or may anyone qu quench the fiery stubble when it had begun to burn? May one turn again an arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that may drive them away? And that's right. We always come out here and tell you that the judgments, the famine, pestilence, all right, uh, the newsome beasts, which that's happening in the society, Race wars, the conflicts, World War III, the poverty, all that is sent by the Lord. But your, your, your hireling pastor ain't gonna go through that because he, he paid not to teach that. But we're gonna tell you it's the mighty Lord. Yeah, how about Shemal Shai that's sending on you? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings as a He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Mm -hmm. The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not utterly be beaten to powder at his presence? That's right. So when we come out here, and we tell people they're going to be put to death, thus saith the Lord, it's the Lord that's threatening you. He's just using us because we represent his mouthpiece, but that's the Lord threatening you. Okay? Because we can't do a damn thing to you. All right? We don't got no nuclear technology to blow your ass up off the map. All right? We don't have spiritual power yet to roll up on you and put your ass to death. That ain't the time yet. Okay? We in just a time of fishing. But soon hunting season gonna start. But prior to hunting season, we telling you that the Lord is threatening you to get your ass in order, otherwise you're gonna be destroyed. Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, keep reading. The earth quaketh and the foundation thereof the sea ariseth up with the waves from the deep, the waves of the terrible, and the seas thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. That's right. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, and his arrows that he shooteth are sharp. Talking about them ICBM thermonuclear missiles. All right, that's the Lord that put the spirit on, on them, uh, North Korea to build the missiles. And giving technology to uh, Iran to create missiles. It's the spirit of the Lord that's on the Russians that's not tolerating America trying to set up missile defense systems in Europe or surrounding China and, and Russia with, with uh, capable of uh, nuclear and, and uh, interconnect, excuse me, uh, missiles. Because they got that missile defense system, but they got it all pointing towards Russia and China. And it already came out a document that America been wanting to uh, destroy Russia with nuclear warfare since the 60s, okay? That just got released. So we in a time now where the Lord is amping up these nations and that's the Lord that's putting the spirit on them to do that, okay? So when these missiles are shot, that's the Lord shooting the missiles. But he's using these, the heads of these nations to shoot them. Keep reading. For, for strong is his right hand that been in the world. His arrows that he shoot them are sharp. Not and they they're not gonna miss, so that proves this whole missile defense, like we, we brought out earlier, they up here trying to create a missile defense on the on the west side of, of, of America, on the west coast, but it ain't gonna be ready till 2017. The way uh, North Korea is talking, they ain't, they ain't gonna wait, give you four years to create some type of defense against a missile.